peculiar virtue in wildlife ethics is that the hunter ordinarily has no gallery to applaud or disapprove of his conduct. Whatever his acts, they are dictated by his own conscience, rather than that of onlookers. It is difficult to exaggerate the importance of this fact. Aldo Leopold Everywhere there should have been a black bear, there was no black bear. This was the perfect spot. Had the right facing slopes, lots of food, lots of shelter. Yet, no matter how long we waited or how long we looked, no bears. Then we realized why there was no black bears around. That's right, what you're looking at is a grizzly bear and her year old cub. Black bears are smart and pragmatic, and they know that they are not the apex predator. They are number two to number one. And number one is the grizzly bear. That ended our night of hunting. So the next day, discouraged by what we hadn't seen and frightened by what we had seen, I did the smart thing. I headed out alone with my black powder rifle on a different road in a different area where I knew there was bears. And sure enough, I drove up the road and I spotted on the horizon a black dot munching on some grass heading up a branch road. Now, just a warning for those of you who don't want to see an animal get shot, you're about to see an animal get shot.
the exciting news is I shot a bear. <laughs> so that's great. Uh, the bad news is he ran off in the bushes and after running into a grizzly bear last night hunting, I'm just going to play it safe. I call for some backup. I was out by myself tonight. It worked out really good. I didn't have a camera crew because I was by myself. But uh, I found him on this branch road munching the grass and uh, took my first shot at him. And uh, I, I hit him, but I obviously didn't hit him enough and waited and I found him up the road. So, so that's exciting. Hopefully we'll find him here in the dark. And uh, I'm going to cut my tag either way because... Uh, even if I don't find them, um, I'm going to cut my tag. So, Heart racing, man. Absolutely heart racing. I'm just glad I found them, to be honest. <sighs> yeah. There he is. Now the work begins. <laughs> Me and my hunting partner here. <laughs> we did I'm it. just the rescue partner this time. I did it with my Hawk and 50 cal, just like Jeremiah Johnson. And uh, I'm very excited. Now the fun work begins. People are going to be like, wow, amazing. First shot landed in the shoulder. You probably saw that in the first video. Just like a couple inches back from where I wanted. But I knew I hit him, so I kept pursuing him. Second shot is perfect. That ball went right where I wanted it, just behind the shoulder. Hit him in both lungs. It was a perfect shot. Wish I could have made that shot first time around. Well, the sun is coming up in the background there. I, I shot the bear last night at, and watched the sun go down, pulled it out of the bush in the dark, took it, skinned it, um, parted it all out I'm home now it's like four o'clock in the morning I still got to clean my powder rifle bear killer and I still got like two hours of stuff to do but man I'm not gonna sleep for a long time last night uh, I got that bear down I didn't do a lot of videoing because it's you know wanting to make sure by when I'm by myself I don't have the opportunity to like film as much and you want to make sure that you're focused and in tune with what's going on in the field. So I got him down and I called my buddy Raven, my hunting partner in the previous video, and he came out and he gave me some assistance. And him and his daughter Kara, we, we got the bear out, we got it home, stayed up till about four in the morning, um, skinning it and cutting it all up to be processed today. We're gonna do some of the meat processing today. And uh, now the hide has been fleshed. Uh, this is my little fleshing, improvised fleshing board. So the hide has been fleshed, fleshed it's salted, everything's ready to go. And now it's just the meat processing part. Kind of a neat story, what you saw there on camera, I, I found this bear on one of these back roads, bash bu back bush roads. I got to sneak on him and I took my initial shot at probably about 100 yards. And I, I knew I hit him, but I didn't, hit, I didn't hit him square exactly where I wanted, but I was able to find him not too long after that, uh, just up the road a ways. And uh, I could tell that I, he was laboring and uh, that in between, honestly, I was ready to quit hunting. I was ready to give up on hunting because making a shot that doesn't, you want to make a good shot. That's the whole point. You're out there to make land good shots. And uh, a substandard shot, it was only by inches. Like I only missed my shot by about three inches. You'll see in the, if you remember previously, it's only about three inches. It makes a big difference. If I was able to find him, I got a good shot on him. I lunged him and uh, he was down 10 yards, 20 yards from where, down the hill from where I shot him. So that was, that was good, a, a good harvest, clean harvest. He's a nice, healthy bear. We got tons of meat off of him. I'm so impressed with how much meat we got. He's pretty fat for a spring bear. Just a great story. And you know, the day before we were out bear hunting and we didn't see any black bears. And at the end of the night, we ran into a grizzly bear in the truck, thankfully, but that's why we didn't see any black bears. So you kind of get discouraged to spend, you know, 10, 20, 30 hours out looking for a critter and you can't find one. Um, and then you have this window, you'll notice in the, the, the camera, it's such a short window to make it happen. And when it happens and it all comes together, it's emotional, it's gut-wrenching, it's, uh, it's really hard to describe. And doing it with a black powder rifle, that's been a, a dream of mine since I was a kid. 
and to be able to do it. You know, I've heard so many people tell me I shouldn't hunt with black powder, that it wouldn't work. The bullet's not going fast enough. The ball, it's not very accurate, blah, blah, blah. You gotta be 10 yards. Um, none of those things are true. I mean, a black powder rifle, I was shooting 90 grains of FFG, or no, triple F. And uh, that's a, that packs a punch, man. And a good, a well-placed shot, that's what matters, you know. You could have a, a high-powered feat of technology and miss your shot, and it doesn't matter. It's shot placement, shot placement, shot placement. And I practiced a lot with that gun, and man, I'm I'm just so happy that I made it happen with a black powder rifle, and that you guys got to see. Um, and like that bear is gonna feed us until until the fall. Uh, not one part's gonna go to waste. So we spent about four and a half hours taking all the meat off, and we got some more to do yet. So. Thank you for joining me on this bear hunt. Hey, if you want to be a muzzle loader hunter, do it. Just practice, get read those charts, get your velocity, your bullet grade, and get all that stuff figured out. Shot placement is the most important thing. You know, it's a ball, but uh, it works. It was clean. It was ethical. It was uh, it was just a great hunt. Thanks for joining me.